The other thing about it is there's a okay. million different places to play any musical idea on this because you have basically two sets of six strings and the bass side, this one's tuned in fifths, the guitar is tuned in fourths. That's my question. So you have two different tunings to work with. So like if you had some melody that you wanted to play, it would be one fingering here, it would be a different fingering here. Um, because the the fifths, the upside down fifths are the same notes as the fourths, you can do the same shape. Oh, nice. Up and down and get the same notes just with the octaves going, the, the directions of the notes going in opposite yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah. There's also kind of like a funny, fun idiosyncrasy where between the bass and the guitar side, this shape here, which is like, would be like a major third on a guitar, this is an octave right between the bass and guitar side. So you can do like a power chord with a bass note just by doing that very easily. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, just a lot of really interesting that you can, uh, sometimes I play uh, crossed hands, which is the traditional method where you have your right hand over on the guitar side and your left hand here. Sometimes I play open-handed um, like this, you know, if I want to play like both of the high registers at once. Um, so yeah, it's just like, what I love about the instrument is it, it just feels very open-ended. It feels like this wide palette where there's so many approaches you can take.